uh, here we have a database of one of my stakes. We're going to be calling him uh, Stake X for the purposes of this video. We've got um, a, a decent sample of hands, 80,000 across a whole lot of limits. He started with me at uh, 50 an hour and is now uh, moved up to 200 and is doing um, and is doing well there. Um, the first um, the first area we're going to look at is pre-flop and buy, posi buy position, and this is really easy to find. Um, in your report list, which is uh, position, the name of your report might be slightly different um, to mine, but it's the position stat, not the leak buster position stat, uh, position report, sorry, but just the just the basic hem position report. Uh, the first thing that we look at is to make sure that we've got a, a nice progression from early position to button. Uh, in poker, we want to play the majority of our pots in position with the initiative. And uh, pre-flop is uh, the the main driver to ensuring that. So as we're looking through our pre-flop stats, we want to make sure that we're putting ourselves in a position where we're playing with the initiative in position. And so what we're looking at here first is um, to make sure we've got a nice progression um, from the amount of hands that we're playing from early position to the button. And we can see here... Um, with, with mistake, he's setting at 18, 21, and then moves to 30 to 37%. Um, the important thing that we'll be talking about throughout this video is that it's not all about making sure that we're hitting certain um, certain percentages. Um, when we're when we're micro stakes players, or we're beginning um, beginning or quite poor small stakes players, and making sure that we hit certain stats may or may not be more important, which is um, the, the leak buster approach to hem analysis, if you like, um, is making sure that your your stats are within a certain spectrum. Uh, that's not the purpose of, of this video. This is about different ways of um, using uh, Holder Manager to, to analyze and understand your style and, and whether um, whether you can identify any changes that you, that you can make or to give you a better understanding of why you're doing the things that you are and what's working and what isn't so you can make those those small tweaks to your game. Um, and so the important thing here is that we, we do have a very large difference between our early and middle position ranges than our cutoff and, and button. A, a more standard um, tag that, that plays sort of the 2218, so stock center tag. Uh, around them, I'm looking for around about 11, 12% from early position, 14, 15 from middle, and then coming out to say 25, and then around about 30, anywhere from like 32 to 40% of the button. But the main thing is that we've got this very large progression from early to middle out to the button. And then this means that we're playing the majority of our hands um, in, in late position, which is where we want to be at. Um, blinds, uh, as for playing the blinds, it's like I'm going to talk about um, in, in a couple minutes because um, that's where, where things get a little bit more complicated. The other thing that I, I want you to look at in your stats is making sure that you've got um, a, a very a very little gap between your VPIP and PFR by position. So we can see here 1717 by um, early, which is what we want to see. Um, likewise, in middle cutoff and button, everything's uh, everything's nice and close. 